everything out there, we've got it watered, we've got that started. I want to really focus on the benefits of the crops that we've already planted. Now today, I want you to think about what these plants actually do for your body. Like for instance, did you know that oranges and broccoli are an excellent source of vitamin C? Can somebody remind me what vitamin C does for us? It helps heal wounds and heart and eyes and heals heart diseases. Think about that as we're going through this. Now you are going to have a list when you do, each of you are going to have to pick, or you're going to have a crop. For your crops, to do the research, I've given you some things to use as guides. Anytime you do research, anytime you have any kind of research, you're going to have to use different types of media to find the answers that you need. One of the things you have is going to look like this. It has a school garden planning chart. You're going to have a small one on your desk, and it looks exactly like that, only it's in black and white. Everyone will have one of these when you do your research. You'll also have what's called a veggie mania research data. I'm going to show you how to use both of these before you get started. On this chart, it has all of your vegetables on this side. The first column is the recommended planting date, and when we get to the other one, it'll show you where we're supposed to be planting that. Number of days until it emerges from the ground. Now think about our carrots. If we want to know when our carrots are supposed to start coming up, we can look down here at carrots, right here, come across, and it's going to take 12 to 18 days before we start seeing them come up. If we want to know the number of seeds of the plants on each paper towel, you can look right here at carrots, and there's 16. If we want to know how deep to plant them, now it says planting depth. Depth means how deep to plant them. Do you remember how deep we planted those carrots? Mm -hmm. What did we use? What did we use as a guide for how deep to put that in the ground? The pencil. The, pe the pencil eraser part. Okay? That is supposed to be the depth is one-fourth of an inch. The days to harvest. What does harvest mean? Yes, ma'am. Um, um, like grow and pull. The time before we can eat them. Good. Days to harvest for the carrots. 70 to 80 days. So this chart is actually going to tell us when, what, how deep to plant, when it's going to come up, and when we're going to be able to eat it. The second sheet you're going to have to do your research is the Veggie Mania research data. It has four pages because this is front and back. Now on this document you're going to have your vegetable, the origin. The origin means where it originally came from, where it's produced, Nutrients and other uh, benefits. This is where you're going to see your vitamins. Fun facts. Nutrient amount. How much you should have on a daily basis. The edible parts. What does edible mean? What part of it you can eat. And edible colors. And the season. And again, edible just means what you can eat. So let's look, for instance, let's look at the bell pepper. We didn't plant bell peppers. But if we did, the origin is Central and South America. It's produced in California and Florida. Is it produced in Texas? No. 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 Does that mean you can't grow it? Uh -uh. No. We could try. Here's your nutrients. Your fun facts. I love this part. Bell pepper is a fruit. Did you know that? Uh -huh. No. Me neither. There are over 2,000 varieties of a bell pepper. So that's just a fun place to be. Nutrient amounts. The edible parts. Okay, the bell pepper, the part that we're going to eat, is the fruit. <laughs> Edible colors, orange, red, purple, yellow, and green. I haven't, oh. said a, I haven't seen a purple bell pepper. No. I haven't either. Maybe nope. it's because we live in Texas. I don't know. And it is a warm season fruit, not a vegetable. If you look at this one, bok choy, cool weather. Cool weather for broccoli. What do we have in our garden right now? Broccoli. Broccoli for cool weather. Carrots. Cool weather. Cool weather. So could we try bell peppers if we wanted to try them now? Uh, or should no, we no. make them spring? It's spring. 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 It kind of tells us when to do that. I'm going to come around and give everyone the JMG Veggie Research Chart. There's a place on here for drying your plant and drawing what the seeds look like. If you need that information, let me know. I've got the seed packets and you can look at them. Then you're going to go through and use the information. I've got it large on the board, but you're also going to get a smaller version that you're going to take back to your seat. I don't mind if you talk quietly with your neighbors. And you can go ahead and get started filling in the blanks on this. Now remember those words. Um, how deep should it be planted? That 
Do you remember what the word mean, word it was that meant deep? Um, depth. depth. And what does edible mean? Say it, everybody. You can eat, eat it. it. You can eat it. Um, benefit, what does benefit mean? Bryson? What you get out of it. What you get out of it. Very good. And don't forget there's a place on here for interesting facts. Where can you get that information? Fun facts. Fun facts. Any questions? When you get your paper, you can go ahead and get started. Please don't forget your name at the top. Part of this vegetable. Your research papers came out really, really nice. Now we're going to take the information we got from your research papers, and you're going to make some markers for our garden, which is one of the reasons we wanted you to do that research. You have to make three stones for the garden. One of them is going to be a marker. The marker one just tells us what the plant is. So if it's carrots, you're going to write carrots. The, the top of this is going to show, the bottom is going to actually be in our garden. The next one, vitamins. What vitamin is, vitamins does carrots have? Somebody remind me? Can vitamin A. Vitamin A. Any others? There's another one. Ooh. Vitamin C. You're going to write your vitamins on there. And then there's going to be one more that's going to be a benefit. Benefit's going to be the last stone. What is the benefit of eating carrots? What does it do for us? Heals your eyes or makes you have really good eyesight? And so you can actually draw... Like a big healthy eye? Like a big old healthy eye? Maybe. Now when we go to um, art... Miss Dean is going to actually help you to create these stones, and we're going to put them out in the garden so that when people walk through, they can see the name of the crop that's growing, the vitamins that that crop gives to us, and the benefits of each crop. Fill up the space. So if we're going to do broccoli, okay, got all those little things on it, and it has the stalks that come down like this. Let's, let's fill that space up. Let's put a big broccoli, maybe even a little broccoli, sitting over here to the side, so that we know that's broccoli, okay? We don't want it to just look like some little spot in the middle of your, your thing, okay? Also, when you go to write your name, let's take some time with your name, okay? So we're going to just kind of use a ruler. Let's make sure we're writing straight. And you're just going to neatly write the name on the top. Go ahead and get that stuff drawn. And then I'm going to give you your brick and let you go ahead, when I think you're ready for it, get your brick and go ahead and draw this pencil onto the brick. You've got to try to fill up the space, guys. I don't want to see this itty bitty, teeny tiny little broccoli stuck in the big old space that we've got for y'all. So see, you got the spreading space. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pass the bricks out, and I want you to put your name, put your name on your brick, on the side, just put your initials, so like Mariska would do ML, initials, so HD, Holly. Right on the side, write your initials, when does dry? I want you to do I want you to outline the grass like that. When you make it. If you're through with your brick and you've already shown it to me and I've said, okay, that's great, then go put it over on the floor. Okay. Thanks, everybody, for trying to finish these up today. I think we did a pretty good job. Got most of them done. And, uh, what do y'all think? Maybe next time if we had, if we did this next time, maybe all paint sticks and not so much of the paint brushes, would that work better? Yes. I think so too. Okay? All right, so let's go ahead and clean up. We're done. Thank you very much for getting it all finished.